Ellen is back with me now, and you've got a project that's going to add so a pretty touch and a bit of privacy to yeah. your window. So you get two for one. Two for one, and it can keep out insects too. Oh, very good. The screen, right? Lovely. So this project came about because we were doing our house in New Orleans. Yeah. The old double hung windows. Mm -hmm. We restored them, but of course there were no screens. Yes. And the screens that were left were very questionable <laughs> right. holes in them, right? So if you try and repair screens, it can be pretty tricky. Like I actually went out and sourced this one that's adjustable. Okay. This will cost you $30. Oh, this really? This little guy. Okay. We're going to do this whole project for $10. 10 bucks? Yeah, very that's easy. That's a deal. Right? Okay. So I was thinking, what else can you use to make a screen that's prettier? Mm-hmm. And I thought of grandma's lace. You know why you thought of that? Because you are so fashion. <laughs> and lace has been hot for several seasons yep. now, and so why not use a little bit and of if that you look, decor? Yeah, if you look at it closely when you're sourcing, I mean, you could definitely use any of grandma's lace still kicking around, but yes. I wouldn't source some. Just for look for one with a very tight weave. Yeah. Like, it's actually so tight that you couldn't get a bug through there, right? Totally. Insects will stay out. And so you're looking for a little bit of privacy. Can I show them the final? Of course, Is yeah. that okay? So this is what we're working towards. <laughs> Project takes you, it's like ten dollars and maybe twenty minutes. Good, right? And you'll get That's instant great. privacy. So first thing you're going to do is actually go to your lumber yard and source one by twos. All right. Very easy. I think an entire one by two is a dollar forty nine or something. Excellent. And if you're very nice to the lumber guys, they will pre cut for you. They will. Right? Yes. So definitely make sure measure two or three times mm -hmm. to make sure it fits your window. Grab it home, and then you're going to build a frame. So just we built one really simply. Yeah. I just use a little bit of carpenter's glue and some nails, nailed it together, right? And you're done. Done. You could leave it natural, depending on what sort of like your windows look like already, or you mm -hmm. could stain it or any color. I just did a quick white coat to make it easy, right? Yeah, and it matches the lace. That yeah. looks really good. And then I went to a fabric store and grabbed some lace with a really tight weave. Lovely. You probably need maybe a yard. Are we talking about a lot of money for the lace? Probably not if the whole thing uh, is $10. I think this, I only use about half a yard. I think a yard of lace was $8.99. Okay. And you probably need about half of it. Got it. Right? So easy. So then what I did is I actually pre-cut my lace. Mm -hmm. So it was roughly the right size already. Yep. Just a little overhang. Just a little overhang. And this lace actually has a little bit of stretch so you can pull on it, which is great. And do you want it to be super duper tight? You want it to be pretty tight. Just so you can make sure that it's actually also kind of protective, right? Yeah. But you don't need it to be crazy tight. Good. So, Good old staple, staple gun, gun, right? We've used these before. Yep. Really easy. To me, so much better than a drill. Right? This is as hardcore as I get with, yeah. the, uh, with the power equipment. And because it is a random pattern, you yeah. don't have to worry about making sure you're doing it tight, evenly. Right. From one side to another, lining up your stripes. Right. Following those, all of those rules we tell you to. Forget all of that stuff. I do know this sometimes runs to a problem for people. The staples don't go all the way in. Yeah. So it's really easy. You actually just want to like hammer them tap in. Tap them in, right? Excellent. The other thing I would say as a tip to just keep in mind is if you're doing this for several different windows, measure every single window. Measure every single window and then I actually even write on the inside what window it's for. Yeah, that's good. Because I also feel like there's times where I take them out in the fall mm -hmm. and then the next year you're going around trying to fit which window fits which in one where. Was that? And then somehow there's always one missing that doesn't quite fit anymore, <laughs> right? So yeah, just write it on the inside. Yes. Really easy. So once you've got that all done, okay. I of course was not a huge fan of the staple showing. You didn't like that. No, we gotta no. make it prettier. Okay. So, I'm gonna flip it over and show you on this guy. Oh, what did you do? Did you just put we a ribbon We actually on that? covered it in ribbon. Oh, that's lovely. Can you get a shot of that? If you can see all of the edges now look like they're just done perfectly. It's completely hidden. Yeah. Because you painted it white yeah. and it's white ribbon. That's exactly. lovely. I mean, I know like proper woodworkers, not us, would say buy wood trim, <laughs> cut the angles. Not us, We're not no. doing that, guys. No, so, we don't need to do at that. At the same fabric store, or any sort of craft store, you can pick up ribbon. It's a couple dollars a roll. You're not going to use that much. Yes. Grab our trusty hot glue gun. Yep. And you're just going to make a bead. Yep. All the way around. Then run it. The one trick I will teach you, so you don't have to cut it, mm -hmm. is you'll see when you go to the corners. So you hold that guy. Yep. Go right to the corner. Usually you'd have to cut it, fold it over. Yeah, that's great. Just miter that corner on your own and yeah. get it down. And it looks very neat and tidy there, the way you do the corners. Yeah. That's good. Are we done? Well, put it in your window. And We're you're done. done. Right? So when you put it in, it actually, yep. especially in a bathroom, you can see it gives you pretty good privacy. Who is that? I right? have no idea. <laughs> is there a man behind there? 
That's incredible. You, you, yeah, very easy. So <laughs> 20 very minutes, stylish. $10 or so. Lovely. You can do all your windows. Another lovely DIY from Christian Bear. <laughs>